All right, so on to creating a cross tab. And there are minimum requirements, and there are only three of these, and then there are additional options which we'll go through one at a time. But for minimum requirements, this is the row dimension is our summarizing field. So this, you know, we'll rebuild a similar cross tab to the one that we looked at in the example where we were looking by provider or by performing provider who had a, a given number of encounters. So that's going to go into our row dimension. So we'll go into patient encounters and I'm going to go down and find oh, where is it performing provider so we'll set this up just by name for the beginning next piece is the data field and this is what the cross tab is going to be looking at as sort of the individual piece, what we're going to be counting or looking at the data for. And since we want to set this up with an encounter, we're going to look in here in this encounters section and we'll find the encounter ID because we want to use the most unique, well, I guess if it's unique, there's no more or less to it, but we want to use the unique value so that when we count this we'll get a good accurate count so we'll go up and find I have to find encounter ID fields is sometimes a bit slow here. There we go. That's right there. So we'll drag this over to data fields. One thing that you'll notice here, and this is important, is this aggregate type. Patient encounters encounter ID. This is kept as a numeric value. And so analytics is going to assume the first time you do anything with a numeric Argue that you want to add this up, and that's not what you actually want to do. Um, if we set this, it's going to take by our performing provider all of the encounter IDs that it has, and it's just going to add them up. And so it'll say we've got millions or tens of millions of encounters, and clearly that's not true. Um, so. If you right-click on this, and you can do it anywhere in the field, and go down to Aggregate Type, we'll set this as a count. And so this is just going to count the unique values that show up in the Encounter ID field. And then, given that you've all used Analytics before, we know that the last piece for anything that we do in Analytics is a search. All, all of our worksheets, all of our charts, everything requires a search. And I've still got a search open, but I'll show you what I've set up here. A very basic patient encounters, appointment status, and I think that's his name. Yep. And we've just set this to arrived. So all of the encounters where the status set to arrived is what we're going to be looking at. And we know this is ready because we can hit the play button. And we do this, and now we see all of our data being counted up here. Um, we've got most of our providers who have a fairly simple set of appointments. Um, and we've got George here who's knocking them out of the park. Uh, but we, this is at its very basic level, the cross tab. Um, we've set up our summarizing data, which is our performing provider. We've set up the encounters. We said that we want to count them, and we've told it to search for appointments where the status is arrived. And so now you can see the uh, the setup here for all all of this. 
And what I'd like to do now is we'll go into some of the extra pieces that you see with a crosstab because we have a lot of other things that will make working with this data a lot more useful. You know, seeing this is wonderful. It may be all you need to know, um, but there are a lot of other things that we'll want to see here. So next on the list, we're going to go through slice dimensions. This is that sort of slice and dice data, what we're going to be looking at, you know, in a deeper level. So we're going to add a couple pieces up here to the slice dimensions box. Close the encounters section for now. And let's add in some information about our patients. Um, let's add patient age category. Let's add patient sex name. And then if we're, let's say we're curious on um, where the patients come from and we'll grab patient city. So if added a couple pieces and then we'll click run again and you'll notice that this looks almost exactly the same as what we had before. You've got your performing providers and your count of encounters. But we now have these three fields and you'll recognize these is what we just added that now show up in this bar here. And this is going to allow us to slice and dice uh, the data. So if we want to find out uh, patient sex, and this is going to divide up all of the encounters that we have into whether, you know, first by provider and then by whether the patient seen was male or female. Um, and so you'll see, again, we've broken this up. We see the 172 for Jan O'Brien, 160 females to 56 males and then of course our total down at the bottom is going to be the same total that we had before if we were only interested in seeing um, how many men we have some blanks here um, how many men came in for appointments and you can view only this um, and this will you'll see that, okay, 861 out of, I think there were about 24 or 2,500 appointments total. And this might make sense. You know, this is one of these pieces that you'll always want to think about whenever you're working in analytics is the data that I see, does this make sense? You know, if you're a women's clinic, uh, then this might not make a lot of sense at all because why do you have male patients showing up? You know, if you're a very general hospital, then perhaps you'd wonder why you had so many fewer males coming in for appointments. But it's always something to keep in mind um, when you're looking at this data. And then let's add in... Um, patient age category. And you probably saw how with, when I drag these in, there's a green line that shows up. And you'll see it here either as a vertical line, which is going to set these up um, as a row dimension, or as a column dimension when I get that long horizontal line. And you're going to see the same data uh, no matter how you set it up. It's just going to show up in a different visual format. So right now, instead of having, you know, for men, all the age categories that they fall into coming out, and then for women, and then men for Jeff Bones, seeing all that, we're just going to look at this in a bunch of different columns. So again, we can scroll down. Any of these patient age categories that show up means that somewhere within this cross tab there's a value uh, in one of these categories. So it turns out that we have one patient between 0 and 5. Um, other than that, you know, if we excluded all scripts test uh, from the provider list, you'd see that this category would disappear. 
Um, so it's not going to keep on categories if there's no data involved. But we can see here that all of these um, are represented fairly well by our providers and you can look at the breakdown. So it looks like in this case for women being that for this provider, for Jeff Bones, they outnumber men by about two to one. Um, and yet you see in the 18 to 49 category, it's more of a